Support for hotkeys and shortcuts makes the Cisco iOS extremely efficient. Making use of these will save you lots of time when you're configuring devices. I have a console connection to a switch, however, instead of using the terminal emulation program to console in, this time I'll click directly on the switch and go to the CLI tab. If I press enter, I'm taken to the command line interface. This is a convenient shortcut to the CLI available to you within Packet Tracer. The first hotkey that I'll talk about is the tab key or tab completion for automatically completing your commands. You can use it like this. To get to privileged exec mode, I would normally type the command enable. With tab completion, you simply type the first few letters of the command, in this case EN, and press the tab key on your keyboard and the command is automatically completed for you. This is very useful. Now this will work if only one command begins with the letters EN. For instance, if I want to put in the command configure, for configure terminal and I type CON and press tab, it doesn't work. The command isn't completed. That's because if I put in a question mark, you can see that there's more than one command beginning with the letters CON in privilege exec mode. If I want to use tab completion, I'll need to type CONF and press the tab key and you can see now the command is completed. For terminal, all I need to do is type the letter T and press the tab key as there's only one argument or secondary command that follows configure and begins with the letter T. So the switch knows that the command I want is terminal. Even better than using the tab key is command shortening. With command shortening, instead of pressing the tab key to complete the command, you simply use the first few letters of the command and the iOS will accept the shortened command without hitting the tab key. This is extremely useful. For instance, instead of typing the command interface fast ethernet 0 slash 1, which is a very long command to type, I can shorten the command to just int, which is short for interface, f, short for fast ethernet, and 0 slash 1, and press enter. The iOS automatically knows the command I want and executes it though you won't see it displayed as you do with the tab completion. Command shortening can make you even more efficient when configuring devices. Sometimes it's necessary to repeat commands. The fastest way to do this is to cycle through your command history using your up arrow and down arrow keys. If I type end on my keyboard and press enter to go back to privilege exec mode and then I press my up arrow key you can see that there are two commands in my command history. Pressing the down arrow key will take me forwards in my command history. This is very useful for commands that are used repeatedly. Now let's take a look at some hotkeys. Both Control plus Z and Control plus C will take us back to privilege exec mode. If I hold down Control Z and press enter, you can see that I'm back to the privilege exec prompt. Control C will do the same, and it can also be used to abort certain commands. For instance, if I type CONF and T and then change my mind, I can press Control C and the command is aborted. Control plus A will jump the cursor to the beginning of a line. I'll type configure and then press Control A and you can see that the blinking cursor is now back to the beginning of the line. If I press Control E, the cursor jumps to the end of the line. Control plus Shift plus 6 is another useful key combination. This sequence will interrupt the execution of a command after the command has already been entered. Let's say, for instance, I mistype the command configure and press Enter on my keyboard. The iOS is trying to translate the letters that I typed into an IP address. So instead of being stuck in this situation, I can simply press Control, Shift, and 6, and the command is aborted. Lastly, there may be times when you are working on the CLI of a device, and an event occurs which generates a message interrupting the command you are typing. This can be very annoying. If this occurs, press Control plus R on your keyboard, to return to the prompt where the partial command will be displayed, allowing you to finish typing. 
This sequence is not currently supported in this version of Packet Tracer. I'll simulate the use of these hotkeys by consoling into a physical switch and shutting down an interface on the switch while I'm in the middle of typing a command. I'll press Enter and type Enable to get to Privilege Exec mode, and then I'll go into Global Configuration mode. Let's say I want to enter interface G0-1. I'll start typing the command, and now I'll shut down an interface. You can see the message displayed across the screen. If I simply press Ctrl-R, I return to where I left off, and I can keep on typing. Now that's sweet. Using hotkeys and shortcuts is a great way to save you time when working with the Cisco iOS.